All right, now we're gonna switch gears and talk about drums. So here I have a hubless style drum, okay? So just as before, we're gonna back cone it. I've got a spring here, uh, and I've got a cone that's gonna fit this drum. The difference is, is that we have our two cups. I'm using the smaller cup now on the back side of the drum. And the reason I do that is because I wanna make sure that my drum bar can fit in between here, okay? So I'm gonna place my drum on the arbor. Then my larger cup goes on. Okay, I'm gonna lift it up, center it. Make sure it's centering on the cone. Put my spacer on, my quick nut. Turning to the left to tighten that up. We're tightened up and we're ready to go. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and install my chatter band here, and this is just a large rubber band. So you've got this nice surface to install it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this around, and what that's gonna do is that's gonna help absorb some of that vibration because that could affect the quality of my cut. So just wrap this around a few times, keeping it fairly tight. I obviously don't want it to fall off on me while we're, while we're making our cut. Now I just slide this around, lift up the rubber piece, slide it under, pretty much like installing a belt. There we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and perform our scratch test. It's very similar to what we did on the disc. The difference is we'll be using our drum bar instead. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the lathe on and we're gonna bring our drum bar into position. Now just as we do with the rotor, when I bring this in, I don't wanna make a continuous cut around. I just wanna to touch it, okay, and make a scratch. So I'm gonna feed this out now, slowly. Okay, now I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna bring the drum bar out a little bit. We're gonna do the same. I'm gonna shut the lathe off and I'm gonna loosen it up. I'm gonna remount, basically jumble my situation here. Take the, take the cone, turn it about 180 degrees. Mount again, reinstall my quick nut. So we basically just jumbled everything up. So I'll turn the lathe back on. I've moved the, the drum bar out. So now I'll just adjust my cross feed and again, just make con contact with the rotor. Now, what you'll see here is that I've got two, I've made two shallow cuts, but they're continuous all the way around. That basically means I don't have any run out in this setup. So it was a perfect cut. Normally what you're gonna see is two, there'll be a little bit of run out of it and you'll see two scratches. You want those scratches to be even about the same length and right next to each other. But in this setup, it basically shows that I had no run out because it's been cut already. And so we got a good result. Okay, so now our scratch test, we passed our scratch test, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a cut. So what I'll do is I got my drum bar roughly in the middle of the rotor. I'm gonna bring it out until I make contact. With the braking surface here. Now that I make good continuous contact, I'm gonna feed the bar inward. So I get the end of the braking surface. Okay, now I'm gonna reset my cut depth, zero. And then I can feed the cross feed out, about four or five thousandths of an inch. Go ahead and engage my feed into the drum position. Now we're gonna let it go ahead and make a cut. And now we finished our cut. Shut the blade down. 
This concludes our video. If you have any additional questions, feel free to contact your HUBTOR representative for a demonstration or for additional training. Thank you very much and have a great day.